go to go you are most welcome this is the liberty is the learning desk subscribe the first thing is to subscribe we are just continuing doing this uh, african social studies we are dealing with the nine languages but today in a special way we are just looking at the impacts of the african i mean this uh, slave trade to the uh, to the european countries because the africans were made uh, were made of course were made colonies were made <laughs> slaves were made cheap laborers hence they were just um, so the europe i mean when i speak the europeans i don't mean i don't mean to make the enmity among the africans and the europeans what i want is just to make a history that, that's why one singer, this is uh, Bobu Male, Bobu Nesta Male, once said that if you don't know your history, you will not know your destiny. So you have to know the history. The Africans should know their history. So uh, today we are just uh, looking on the series of my subjects, which are in the university levels for all people who are studying uh, African social studies and uh, in a special way who wish to know the history of the African and uh, our African, uh, what um, Africanism, uh, well, this is the so-called uh, African slave trade uh, and so forth. How Africans contributed for the growth of the uh, of the Europeanese, if not of the this uh, capitalist so to speak so first of all we, we speak of how africa contributed to the development of capitalism in europe so gold and the silver gold and the silver were taken of course from africa so through african slave labor europe obtained gold and the silver which was the cornerstone of the capitalist money economy they further helped to finance journeys to Asia around the Cape of Good Hope. So that is, so the African gold, African silver were taken from Africa to Europe to feed uh, Africa, to feed European industries. Hence, Africa uh, contributed to the rise up of the European economic uh, uh, standard. So they, uh, that is, African gold was also the main source for the uh, meeting of Dutch money, uh, which helped Amsterdam to become the capital of Europe. So the English also used the, the Guinea gold instead of their own money. The Antarctic slave uh, trade was the stimulator of consistent advances of the naval technology. The, exp the expenses involved in building the new and the better European ships were made from a fabulous profit of overseas commerce with India, America, and Africa. So uh, that is so the treasure uh, of or treasures uh, from Africa went to Europe to build the uh, the the corner. Uh, stone of the European economy, or the uh, we can say in a short way that the Africans uh, minerals, uh, this gold, the ivory, uh, so this um, diamond and silver and so forth, were the backbone for their uh, for their uh, for their growth or for their increase in economic areas. So Africa contributed to the rise, if not to the development of capitalism in Europe in that way, by giving the raw materials, the raw materials which were taken from the Africans. Second point, how Africa contributed to the development of capitalism uh, in Europe. Due to the European slave trade, there was the rise of seaport towns, including Bristol, Liverpool, Nantes, uh, Bordeaux, and the Seville, in connection with the seaport towns, manufacturing centers emerged whose raw materials depended on the produce of slave labor. So the slave labor uh, was cheap and um, uh, priceless. Hence, uh, the European capitalists could not uh, could not pay the the Africans who were working to the industries. Hence. There were the building of uh, capitalist economic, I mean, uh, economic uh, strategies. 
hence so cheap labor cheap laborers that were Africans who were doing uh, price race without paying the hence all this made the Africans uh, to be the contributors to the European uh, European developments. So third point uh, was uh, that the African slave trade encouraged the growth of large capitalist farms or including or firms including the Bakrai Bank and the Lord's Bank and the insurers. So uh, the James Watt firm which financed the steam engine uh, is another example. So Africans uh, contributed a lot for cheap laborers. Cheap laborers. So number five, how Africa contributed to the development of capitalism in Europe throughout the 7th, 18th and uh, the most of the 19th centuries, the exploitation of African labor continued to be the source of the accumulating capital that was invested in Western Europe. So the European capitalists depended on the price rates and the cheap laborers from the Africa. So the Africans were the ones who were working in the, these uh, European capitalist uh, industries, uh, feed, feeding uh, European capitalist industries without paying payments, without what and what and what. So number five, new industries mushroomed, including the French St. Malo fishing industries, the gum industry, which was extracted from Africa, and the ivory, which provided the raw materials for the development of industries in Germany, France, Switzerland, and uh, England. So, number six, the slave trade stimulated the development of seaport towns, manufacturing the industrial enterprises. It also created, uh, it also created many job opportunities. Many people in these areas and they were, were employed in these industries thus reducing the unemployment problem. So that is, so the Africans could produce raw materials and they, in Europe, the, the Europeans could get works in their industries sometimes so that they could, uh, they could do, um, manufacture um, products from Europe, I mean in Europe, hence uh, due to that fact, uh, uh, Europeans de develop, developed it because uh, they got some employments so through the backbone of Africans, <laughs> that is. Number eight, the European population dominated North America. Many European countries transferred their capital institutions to North America. Uh, that is number nine. This trade stimulated the British industrial development. Um, Africans were purchased by the British manufacturers and they transported to Central South American plantations. So the Africans went there to produce in their in their in the farms uh, for instance uh, in um, caribbean there and uh, other places uh, like uh, america there there we get black people black uh, uh, americans who, who were some uh, the results of of these uh, these uh, things which were done in africa so the profit obtained financed the industrial revolution in britain so all the all profits which was gained from all things which were coming from africa was for the development of the european capitalists hence africa could be the source of laborers the source of raw materials and so forth so that that is why or oh, that's why how a Euro, a europe was uh, developed by the Africa through that way, so nobody can 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 deny this or can refuse this. Number eleven, the creation of monopolies and the protective policies trade between Europe and their colony in the New World. So the uh, the European capitalists created the, the uh, good the good market. I mean, good many good markets in the African colonies. So the African colonies were, I mean, African colonies uh, were the sources of raw materials at the same moment, uh, the sources of market. Uh, so the, the raw materials could be sent in Europe 
and uh, for instance like cotton after the um, uh, this industrial uh, what uh, process that grow or that uh, uh, many cloth from the industries in Europe was to to feed the African colonies or African materials. So the African colonies were good markets for the products from Europe. Hence, there were the development of Africa. I mean, uh, I, I mean the development of Europe, uh, European countries, and the underdevelopment of Africa. So number twelve. The rise of racism in the capitalistic society of Europe and the USA. Due to the enslavement of Africans for more than three centuries, racism developed. Of course, there were no confidence and, uh, and uh, what, uh, and uh, uh, we can say confidence among the Africans who could find themselves in Europe and America like. Uh, uh, like the newcomers in the new world that's that's why so that is subscribe subscribe uh, for these uh, historian studies for all who are studying african social studies you may get many many languages you may get many uh, reflections on history so this is educational youtube channel liberty the nine languages school subscribe Subscribe, subscribe and share.